Alright guys, we're going to dive into some geometry focusing on different shapes. The first big term we need to know is a polygon. Two things you need to know about a polygon is it's a closed figure and it has straight sides. So let's look at a few examples of what might be and what might not be a polygon. A closed figure with straight sides. Well this is a closed figure, it doesn't have any openings, but it has a curved side so it does not count as a polygon. This shape is closed in, it has straight sides all around, so it is a polygon. This triangle here is almost a complete triangle except for there's a gap so we cannot say that it's a closed figure which means it is not a polygon. One type of polygon that we're going to learn about is a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral has four sides or edges and four cor corners or vertices. So I can see that this rectangle here has one, two, three, four sides and one, two, three, four corners. So it is a quadrilateral. This triangle has only one, two, three sides and one, two, three corners. It would not count as a quadrilateral. A circle has no corners, so we cannot count it as a quadrilateral. And this star has way too many corners to count as a quadrilateral. This chart is kind of a little hierarchy of polygons. The overall term is a polygon, any closed shape with straight sides. Then within the polygon, we have several sections. A triangle, tri means three, it has three sides. A quadrilateral, quad means four, and it always has four sides. And then we have others like octagons, hexagons, pentagons. If we notice the quadrilaterals, all of these have four sides. Square, rectangle, rhombus, trapezoid, and parallelogram. In third grade, we're going to focus a lot on these and how we can compare and contrast them or find the similarities and difference, differences between these shapes. So something is a square if it has four sides and four angles, but it has to have four right angles, which means that these corners are 90 degrees. They are perfectly square. And four equal sides. So a square that has five inches on this side would have to be five inches, five inches, and five inches. All four sides would have to be equal. What makes a rectangle different from a square is that rectangles have two pairs of parallel sides that are equal in length. So a rectangle does not have to have four equal sides. It has um, parallel means that two lines are running in the same direction and they will not cross over each other. So the top and bottom are parallel and the um, left and right are also parallel. So let's look at what that means. If you extend these lines, they will not cross. But for example, in this shape, if I extend the lines, eventually they would intersect each other or cross over, which means they would not be parallel. Okay, one thing that can get confusing is where square and rectangle overlap, where these rules kind of overlap. So a square has to have four equal sides and four equal angles. A rectangle has to have four right angles and two that are parallel. So if I look at this square, it has four right angles and it has opposite sides that are parallel. Top and bottom are parallel left and right are parallel, which means I could also call this square a rectangle, but if I look at this rectangle and I try to define it as a square, I have to have four equal sides. And these sides, left and right, are not the same length as top and bottom. So that means a rectangle cannot be called a square, but a square could be called a rectangle. The next shape is a parallelogram. A parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides that are equal in length. What makes a parallelogram different than a rectangle is it does not have that rule of having four right angles. A parallelogram can have some angles that are wider than right angles and some that are um, less 
than right angles, either obtuse or acute angles, and it'll be called a parallelogram. So since a parallelogram is any shape with two pairs of parallel sides that are equal in length, a lot of these shapes can be called a parallelogram. I might look at this shape right here and instantly say, oh, that's a rectangle. I could also classify it as a parallelogram because it follows the rule of two pairs of parallel sides that are equal in length, top and bottom, left and right. I might look at this and say, oh, that looks like a diamond or a square that's turned sideways. I could also call it a parallelogram because it has opposite sides that are parallel and equal in length. Um, this green and this blue down here are definitely parallelograms. They fit that rule exactly. Um, the turquoise pentagon and the star are not considered parallelograms. Another shape is called a trapezoid. The thing that sets a trapezoid apart is that it only has one pair of parallel sides. So this top and bottom are parallel, but the left and the right are not parallel. If I extended those lines, they would eventually cross over or intersect, meaning that they are not parallel lines. The last shape that we're going to talk about is a rhombus. The only rule for a rhombus is that all four sides are the same length. So um, it looks like something we might call a diamond, but the, the actual name for it is a rhombus. So here's just a little chart. Um, I'll leave it here for a second so you can look at all the rules and look over them all. It has each shape that we talked about and what the rules are along with some picture examples.